The Republican convention in Milwaukee kicks off a week from tonight. The big question, who will be Donald Trump's running mate? There are also big changes on key issues for the party's platform. Former President Trump has been keeping a very low profile ever since the debate. Behind the scenes, however, he's reportedly responsible for a major shift in GOP policy. For the first time in 40 years, the RNC has dramatically revised its language on abortion in a new platform that omits mention of a national ban and is in step with Mr. Trump's position, allowing states to set limits. Donald Trump is the pragmatic leader here. He's saying most abortion policy is going to be decided by the states. There are signs some pro-life groups are also changing their messaging to try to win over voters, profiling women with difficult pregnancies who carried their babies to term. Meantime, Mr. Trump and his surrogates are distancing themselves from Project 25, a controversial roadmap for the next Republican administration crafted by the Heritage Foundation. Think tanks do think tank stuff. Controversial with some because it would overhaul the federal government, firing as many as 50,000 government employees and expanding presidential powers. It's like, do we want the kind of a president uh, that is all about Project 25? And anyone can read on that because that's what Trump is all about. The former president could name his running mate any time ahead of next Monday's opening day of the convention. Some names mentioned Governor Doug Burgum, Senators Marco Rubio, J.D. Vance and Tim Scott. He's got a great selection of people for VP and he's going to have a ton of talent that want to work in this administration. We can't afford another four years like the last four and I'm willing to help in any way I can. Somebody not being talked about that should be, in my view, is Yunkin from Virginia. If we win Virginia, we win. It is over. Leading up to the convention, the former president will hold rallies in Doral, Florida and Butler, Pennsylvania. Senator Rubio is expected to attend tomorrow's Florida event.